In today's video, we're going to give you the top five defensive tips to improve overnight in Madden NFL 16. Welcome to today's video, guys. My name is Cody Ballard. I do this video every year, and I really think it is one of my favorite videos to do. And, and, and today's we are focusing on the top five tips to improve overnight uh, in Madden NFL 16. Uh, and the first tip we're going to start off with is uh, the five sets for success. And what the five sets for success teaches is that we want to have, we want you to have five specific plays that you call defensively for specific purposes. What we, get, what we teach is we want to have a base play, a play that we come out in every single time. Here you see the Sam Mike 3 press is what I'm using from the nickel 335 wide or uh, odd. Um, and then we want to have a run defense that you saw right there where I audibled into my run defense it's the say and, um, and, and stop the run for your short gain. Uh, we want a nice man blitz. We want a zone blitz. And wow, Calvin Johnson just shamed me. Um, we want a nice man blitz. We want a nice zone blitz. And then we want a coverage defense. And we want all of these plays from the same formation. The reason we want them from the same formation uh, is because it's going to allow us um, to have to, um, as you see, get the user pick there. But what it's going to do is it'll, it's going to allow us to confuse the offense because they're not going to know what is coming. They're not going to know when we're sending pressure or when we're sending coverage or when we're sending whatever it may be that we're sending. They are not going to know because of the fact that we are going to be using these plays uh, in combination with one another and we'll be changing them up. And so they're never going to know what we're going to call because it's always going to look the same. And that's the second tip. Make your defense always look the same. The same setup for your blitzes. The same setup for your zones. The same setup for your man coverage. You're going to see we want everything to look the same, uh, and if it doesn't look the same, it's going to give your opponent a quick tell. Uh, the next tip that we have, the second tip for today, is team selection. Uh, and I, what I like to really focus on here with team selection, and I, I, I really say this with all sincerity, if you're running a 3-4 base defensive scheme, don't use the Seattle Seahawks, uh, as we get to concede here. Don't use the Seattle Seahawks, but but rather use teams like the the 49ers or the Steelers or the Jets, really good 3-4 teams. We'll go ahead and hop in another game for you while we're talking here. But use uh, def you know defenses that are built for 3-4. Um, for example, I'm using the, the nickel 335 odd, uh, and the nickel 335 odd, what we want to do here um, with this with this defense um, from the nickel 335 odd is we want to send pressure, uh, but we also have a lot of nickel packages, and so I'm building my Madden Ultimate team around a nickel format, and so I'm getting three corners. I'm not buying a whole lot of linebackers or a whole lot of defensive linemen. I'm buying more corners and safeties and things like that that are going to make my team better, or maybe if you need acceleration at a defensive tackle, for a certain blitz, don't use a team like the, the Jets, whose defensive linemen are more beefy and bulky, but may, maybe use a, a, a team like the Giants or a team like the Cowboys who have really good acceleration from their linemen. Um, those are all things that you want to talk about. When we talk about team selection, uh, in my opinion, it's very important uh, for choosing uh, your team, and that's one of the most important overlook things that I think we do. Uh, one of my favorite teams to use this year is the Cleveland Browns. I think they have a really great defense, uh, but I think they have to be used in a very specific way. Um, and so with that in mind, uh, you know, that concludes our next tip with the team selection. Number third, uh, you saw it in the video, uh, in the gameplay, a little snippet of it there, uh, and hopefully we can get into another game real quick. We're having some trouble finding a game. But uh, user the middle of the field. Uh, it's very important to use the middle of the field in Madden, and the reason for that uh, is because it's going to allow you you to, to cover the most field, cover the most ground, cover the most territory. Uh, what I like to do is I like to use her the middle linebacker or middle user the safety, and I'm going to you know kind of use her that deep middle area where you see a lot of post routes, a lot of deep end routes, a lot of routes like that uh, that are really killers, especially for zone. Um, and when we use her the middle of the field, it does a very good job for us uh, as far as uh, you know really taking advantage of that. I like to say use the middle linebacker in the hook zone if you don't feel very comfortable. Uh, if you feel confident in your user skills, then go ahead and use that safety over the top and uh, you'll be good. Um, but that's kind of the, the third tip is user the middle of the field. Uh, and then the fourth tip, don't blitz all the time and I stress all the time. The reason we don't want to blitz all the time uh, is because your opponent's going to know what expects. The five sets for success, only two of those plays are blitzes. Three of those plays are not blitzes, and I think that's very essential. Uh, blitzing is the sexy thing to do. It's the it's the popular thing to do. It's the YouTube thing to do. It's it's what you do if you want to you know really kind of show off and Madden. But 
what I conclude uh, from all of my work uh, as far as the season goes is, you know, blitzing may not always be the best strategy. Sometimes going to a coverage defense, or sometimes uh, sometimes going to uh, a base defense, or sometimes going to uh, y you know a, a run defense or man coverage or whatever it may be, or a hybrid coverage. All of those things are important, uh, and what it does is going to enhance your blitzing experience. It's going to make those couple times that you blitz that much more effective because you're going to null them to sleep. Or you're going to call that coverage defense at the right time, mix it up. They're going to throw it hot, and they're going to throw it right into the coverage. And that's also why it's important that everything looks the same um, on the defensive side of the ball. And then lastly, my final tip for you guys this year is play with a purpose. Don't just call a play to call a play. You'll see specific times. I come out of this 3-5 three, three, every single play, um, and then I audible out, maybe into the 2-4-5, maybe into the nickel wide nine. Uh, I audible into all those plays for a specific uh, design purpose, and, um, and uh, you know, it's essential to my success. And here... Um, Oh, crap. I don't know what happened over top there. Leon Hall just didn't react. I don't know what he did there. Wow, interesting play. But um, play with a purpose, um, and I think it's so essential that we do that. Um, and we just don't as players. Sometimes we, we call plays just to call plays, and, and we do things like that. Here you see, um, you know, I'm kind of sending some heavy pressure, and so what I'm going to do is kind of hit me quick. And I like his quarterback selection, Jeremy Showers. Uh, but what I know about Jeremy Showers is that he has a tough time, um, you know, throwing routes, especially when we're facing the cover three buzz. Um, so here we go, drop into the nickel three three five wide nine. This is our passive play, and he's going to step up. And we're going to go ahead and get a fumble. We're going to force a fumble. Unfortunately, we don't recover it. But, um, but guys, play with a purpose. It's so, it's so important in this game um, to seriously play with a true purpose. Have a reason for the plays you call. Don't just call plays just to call plays. And uh, there you see another user pick. And, and like I said, you know, it's just that simple. It's kind of passive pressure, lull him to sleep. Um, we, we stopped sending that pressure because he was showing us he could beat it. We went to the coverage. He couldn't handle the coverage, and we got the interception. Play with the purpose. Don't just call plays to call plays. Have a real reason behind why you're calling the plays that you're calling, and it, you will reap benefits. That's probably the most important tip is, is have a purpose with what you do, not just in mat, not just in uh, you know defense, but also with offense. You know, Every single time, we have a purpose for every single play that we call. Every play that we call is going to set up our opponent for something we're going to be doing at a later date. And uh, I just think that's a, such an important tip um, for you to learn is have a purpose with, with the plays you call. Um, you know, have a reason. Why are you calling that man blitz? Why are you calling that zone blitz? Why are you calling your zone coverage defense? Um, you saw I was calling my coverage defenses because he was continues consistently beating my blitzing defenses. And, um, you know, I went right into the coverage and, and ended up getting a lot of you know a lot of really good results from it. So, um, but guys, that's the top five tips to improve um, in Madden NFL 16. I think they're pretty good. Um, I think that they will help you. Uh, I don't think by any means they will turn you into um, a phenomenal, outstanding tournament-ready Madden Challenge champion uh, overnight. It will take practice. But by putting these five tips that I'm giving you into practice you will certainly improve your defense overnight in Madden NFL 16. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch it. Um, one of the things that I also want to provide for you guys is a way to learn how to do all these five things. Um, we actually have have a defensive guide on sale right now um, and it's only ten dollars for ten dollars you're gonna get a full scheme um, you know the scheme that I really like to run probably the most uh, you're gonna get my whole 335 odd scheme from the New England Patriots um, you're also gonna get some of the other things that I've provided uh, you know to show you how to use all five sets for success it's also gonna show you how to pick your team and and also show you all of the strategies that we've implemented here um, this this formation uh, or excuse me, this guide will show you all of that. And so I really think it's a great option um, for you to potentially check that out. Um, but those links will be in the description. We also have private lab sessions in which I will go into game with you and teach you what it takes to be a great defensive player uh, in game. And so I, I really think you should check that out. Those are in the description. Um, I don't think they're very expensive for what I'm offering. Um, so with that in mind, that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope it really helped you a little bit. If it didn't, I really apologize. I sincerely do because I, I really try to help. And um, 
And so, but uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to just take a uh, ten minutes and watch this video.